Good evening, everyone. I know we are a couple of us right now, but more will be joining. So welcome back to the Fulsome Fridays. And uh, as you know, in the Fulsome Friday, we do a whole host of activities. And those activities are right from recitation to lucid reasoning to antaksharis, to riddles, to, you know, anything fun, to painting, anything that fancies us, or as it comes as a guidance from the masters. Because what is it that we mean when we say Pulsam Friday? It's just to relax, just to enjoy. And at the same time, if we are gaining any wisdom, why not? Let's also make the best of it, right? So today, welcome back, all of you, on Susan Friday. And thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, there was a huge demand. Many people rang me up. I had done the recitation in the morning, what we do on the daily ones, on I am. And I got a lot of people saying that they would like, a, you know, some version of it again. So I thought, what better way to start than to do an I am program for all of us on a wholesome Friday. Because when you have two days over the weekend to introspect, to think about it, and action it. Correct. So let me ask you as we start the program. What do you think defines you? And what do you think should not define you? Now, this is an interactive program and it goes for one hour. We've written 8 to 8.30. But what do you think defines you? And what do you think should not define you. Anyone? Don't be shy. Don't be hesitant. That is also something we have to learn to overcome. Right? But what do you think are the qualities? I won't say qualities. It is about you. What do you think are the things that define you? Okay, let me give you a start. You can add to it. You can talk in between. It's perfectly fine until the recitation starts. Yeah? So what defines you? Your actions define you. Correct? Your words, the way you speak, defines you. Your character defines you. Your personality defines you. Right? Then what else? Your attitude, the kind of approach you have in life. Your perspectives define you. It could be clouded or it could be open. What else do you think? Anybody else raising hands? No, not yet. No problem. What else do you think defines you? Anyone? Character. Your character defines you. And most importantly, how you treat others, that defines you. Now, these are things we may not be, you know, we know about it, but we are not aware about it. And when we do these things, these are things as others see you your character, your personality, your words, your thoughts, your act, uh, not thoughts, your actions, your uh, behavior, right? Your personality. Because that's what comes to their mind instant when they think of any of us. So there is something that is inside us that makes it easier for other people to understand this quality of ours. But do we or are we aware of what we are or what we can be or what we should be or 
what is it that we are holding on to which does not define us but makes us go further and further in a space which is not so nice and that's the time we can only think of desperations, anger, traumas, frustrations, and so many other things. Correct. So what is it that doesn't define us or should not define us? Anyone? A bad environment. That's not this. Who are you? This is N. Who's N? Do I have a name to it? Hi, it's me. Oh, lovely to How see you. How are you, my dear? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for that. Lovely to see you, yeah, Nuri. Likewise. Yeah. So, yes, a bad environment. But that environment is created by who? By us. Because how do we define a bad environment unless we know that we are the ones who are responsible for creating it? Correct. Then what else defines you? Uh, does not define you or should not define you? Because these things which I'm going to mention now are the things that you hold on to. And because you hold on to these things, because you are so possessive of these uh, particular aspects, you forget and you do not really know and connect to the real you. Right. So what is that? It's your thoughts. Your mistakes. Your traumas. Yeah. It is also your past. Whatever you have been through in the past. Your perspective of your disabilities. Now, when I say disability, I'm not talking of a physical problem, which can also become a reason for people's behavior. You may have noticed people who are very unwell or who have some problem, either they are very wise or they're very grouchy and their behavior is terrible and they lash out at people like a trapped animal. Right. So your disabilities in this case may not be the physical kind. It may be your own frustrations, desperations, angst, not anger, angst. Right. Your, 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 uh, your, your helplessness or your um, even jealousies for that matter. That's a disability. Yeah, because you are not able to see something good in the others. So you disable your own ability to be either neutral or appreciated. Yeah, then there is your maybe past. The experiences that you've had in the past, they also impact you terribly. Then at the same time, we have a lot of problems that we think that we are holding on to. Because have you noticed whenever we meet, what do we say? I have a problem. We never choose our words to say, can I look at it differently? Can I look at a solution for it? Instead of saying that I have a problem, it doesn't happen, right? And at the same time, don't forget, your past may be not only your past experiences. Uh, the past experiences are also something that make it difficult for you based on your belief systems. There may be a belief system involved in that and conditioning involved in that. Then what doesn't define you most importantly is money. Money doesn't define you. You define how money can be treated by you so that it becomes a part of you as a partner instead of something that is a, either a burden or something as a lack or something that is missing in your life. And most importantly, above all this is one thing that shouldn't define you at all 
is how you look. Have you ever thought of that? We don't think of it. But that is a very important and a very big key element in shaping our personalities and the other things that should be defined. And where does all this come from? The fact that we do not own ourselves. We do not own our qualities. We do not own our own personalities. So what do we do? Today, we discover all that is, all that can define us, and all that is there, which is part of a series of what I call I am. So when I know what I am, I'm talking only of positives for all of us. Some may resonate immediately. Some you may think, is it so? But remember, all this is within us, inside us, for us. The point is, when are we going to use it correctly? And when are we going to make it our life line? Okay. So close your eyes. Let's do the recitation for it. And as it goes along, if any other point you know comes to your mind, do write it in the chat, Zoom chat, and we shall uh, you know take it up. All right. So all these qualities that we are going to talk about are us. Let's awaken them. Let's embrace them. Let's accept them. Let's make that a part that should define us. Right? And not hold on to all that that doesn't define us. So close your eyes. Take a deep, deep breath. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in positive energies, positive thoughts, positive beliefs, and breathe out all that does not, all that does not resonate with you. Can we have the muted mics muted, please? Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Invoke your healing masters, healing guides, healing angels, your higher consciousness, radical consciousness, Love consciousness, prosperity consciousness, your teachers, mentors, gurus, and guides. Seek their assistance, seek their guidance to awaken that part of you that you have ignored. To awaken that part of you that can and should define you, to awaken that part in you that helps you understand that you are complete and helps you move forward in life in an easy and effortless manner as you continue to connect to the ultimate consciousness. Collect all your energies, thoughts, wherever they are in the universe. Feel them, sense them being centered within you. And when you feel a sense of being centered, take a deep breath to absorb it. And recite with me in your mind as we go along with this recitation. 
with radical consciousness, I purify being blessed with radical consciousness. I purify feeling blessed with radical consciousness. I accept and embrace feeling blessed with radical consciousness. I accept and embrace feeling blessed. With radical consciousness, I synchronize with feeling blessed. With radical consciousness, I synchronize with feeling blessed. I peacefully progress towards continuing to feel blessed. I peacefully progress towards continuing to feel blessed. <laughs> With radical consciousness, I purify being inspired. With radical consciousness, I purify being inspired. I accept and embrace being inspired. I accept and embrace being inspired. I synchronize with being inspired. I synchronize with being inspired. I peacefully progress forward being inspired. I peacefully progress forward being inspired. I am blessed. I am inspired. I am blessed. I am inspired. With radical consciousness, I purify feeling secure. With radical consciousness, I purify feeling secure. I accept and embrace feeling secure. I accept and embrace feeling secure. I synchronize with feeling secure. I synchronize with feeling secure. I passionately progress in life feeling secure. I passionately progress in life feeling secure. With radical consciousness, I purify being worthy. With Radical consciousness, I purify being worthy. I accept and embrace being worthy. I accept and embrace being worthy. I synchronize with being worthy. I synchronize with being worthy. I peacefully progress in life feeling worthy. I peacefully progress in life 
feeling worthy. I am secure. I am worthy. I am secure. I am worthy. With radical consciousness, I purify being authentic. With radical consciousness, I purify being authentic. I accept and embrace being authentic. I accept and embrace being authentic. I synchronize with being authentic. I synchronize with being authentic. I peacefully progress in my life being authentic. I peacefully progress in my life being authentic. With radical consciousness, I purify being genuine. With radical consciousness, I purify being genuine. With radical consciousness, I accept and embrace being genuine. I accept and embrace being genuine. I synchronize my life by being genuine. I synchronize my life by being genuine. I peacefully progress in my life by being genuine. I peacefully progress in my life by being genuine. I am authentic. I am genuine. I am authentic. Genuine. With radical consciousness, I purify my confidence. With radical consciousness, I purify my confidence. I accept and embrace my confidence. I accept and embrace my confidence. I synchronize with my confidence. I synchronize with my confidence. I peacefully progress in my life with confidence. I peacefully progress in my life with confidence. With radical consciousness, I purify feeling motivated. With radical consciousness, I purify feeling motivated. I accept and embrace feeling motivated. I accept and embrace feeling motivated. I synchronize with my motivation. I synchronize with my motivation. 
I passionately progress in my life with motivation. I passionately progress in my life with motivation. I am confident. I am motivated. I am confident. I am motivated. With radical consciousness, I purify being limitless. With radical consciousness, I purify being limitless. I accept and embrace being limitless. I accept and embrace being limitless. I synchronize with being limitless. I synchronize with being limitless. I passionately progress in my life being limitless. I passionately progress in my life being limitless. With radical consciousness, I purify being unstoppable. With radical consciousness, I purify being unstoppable. I accept and embrace being unstoppable. I accept and embrace being unstoppable. I synchronize with being unstoppable. I synchronize with being unstoppable. I passionately progress in my life being unstoppable. I passionately progress in my life being unstoppable. I am limitless. I am unstoppable. I am limitless. I am unstoppable. Feel yourself absorbing all these messages today and feel yourself getting charged with all the positives that Radical Consciousness and the Masters are sending for you today. And we continue with Radical Consciousness. I purify being capable. With Radical Consciousness, I purify being capable. I accept and embrace being capable. I accept and embrace being capable. I synchronize with being capable. I synchronize with being capable. I peacefully progress in my life being capable. I peacefully progress in my life being capable. With radical consciousness, I purify being grounded. With radical consciousness, I purify being grounded. I accept and embrace being grounded. 
I accept and embrace being grounded. I synchronize with being grounded. I synchronize with being grounded. I peacefully progress in my life being grounded. I peacefully progress in my life being grounded. I am capable. I am grounded. I am capable. I am grounded. With radical consciousness, I purify being empowered. With radical consciousness, I purify being empowered. I accept and embrace being empowered. I accept and embrace being empowered. I synchronize with being empowered. I synchronize with being empowered. I passionately progress in my life being empowered. I passionately progress in my life being empowered. With radical consciousness, I purify being fearless. With radical consciousness, I purify being fearless. I accept and embrace being fearless. I accept and embrace being fearless. I synchronize with being fearless. I synchronize with being fearless. I passionately progress in my life being fearless. I passionately progress in my life being fearless. I am empowered. I am fearless. I am empowered. I am fearless. With radical consciousness, I purify being approachable. With radical consciousness, I purify being approachable. I accept and embrace being approachable. I accept and embrace being approachable. I synchronize with being approachable. I synchronize with being approachable. I peacefully progress in my life being approachable. I peacefully progress in my life being approachable. With radical consciousness, I purify being gentle. With radical consciousness, I purify being gentle. I accept and embrace 
being gentle. I accept and embrace being gentle. I synchronize with being gentle. I synchronize with being gentle. I peacefully progress in my life being gentle. I peacefully progress in my life being gentle. I am approachable. I am gentle. I am approachable. I am gentle. With radical consciousness, I purify my abundance. With radical consciousness, I purify my abundance. I accept and embrace my abundance. I accept and embrace my abundance. I synchronize with my abundance. I synchronize with my abundance. I passionately progress in my life with abundance. I passionately progress in my life with abundance. With radical consciousness, I purify being calm. With radical consciousness, I purify being calm. I accept and embrace being calm. I accept and embrace being calm. I synchronize with being calm. I synchronize with being calm. I peacefully progress in my life being calm. I peacefully progress in my life being calm. I am abundant. I am calm. I am abundant. I am calm. With radical consciousness, I purify my love. With radical consciousness, I purify my love. I accept and embrace my love. I accept and embrace my love. I synchronize with my love. I synchronize with my love. I peacefully progress in my life with love. I peacefully progress in my life with love. With radical consciousness, I purify my happiness. With Radical consciousness, I purify my happiness. I accept and embrace my happiness. 
I accept and embrace my happiness. I synchronize with my happiness. I synchronize with my happiness. I peacefully progress in my life with happiness. I peacefully progress in my life with happiness. I am love. I am happiness. I am love. I am happiness. Now take a deep breath to absorb all the messages today gifted to us by the masters telling us all how to learn to be positive, happy and look for the positives in life. See them, feel them getting absorbed in every part of your mind, body and soul. And just say with me, I am. I am. I am. Once more. I am. I am. I am. Take a deep breath in. Shake your fingers, your toes, your shoulders. Turn your head from side to side. And when you feel complete and centered with all these gifts, you can open your eyes and we can talk about it. Thank you, ma'am, for this amazing. Sorry, I went off. There's a bit of a electricity problem here. Thank you so much, Jatina. There are a lot many points that can keep coming up. This is only a trigger to get you started. Think of all the positives. Think of all the things that you feel and you know you are. They're hidden inside you. But you just need to be aware of them and awaken them. And not let the things that don't define you become the reason for your growth and life moving forward. Yeah? So any questions or anything you'd like to add? We can do it now. Anyone? Any thoughts? Any feelings? Uh, what is in the... No, ma'am. Right. Very profound, actually. We need to... Uh, I mean, imbibe it more and more. Yeah. And since the recording will be available, you can always refer to it. In fact, over the weekend, I can give you a homework. Think of the other I am's, and you can yes. put it in the in the in the uh, you know uh, circle of peaceful progress group. It's important for us to know what all we are, and since we are all here together collectively, the reason is very clear that all of us are supposed to experience it together and understand it better for ourselves. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So thank you very much for being here today. Pull some Friday next weekend. Next Friday will be something more interesting. Maybe not a recitation. Let's see what we come up with. Till then, all the best. Have a great weekend. And see you next Friday. Bye-bye.